Let's see what happens together. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be completing the build of the Dragon Teeth frame. And just a quick back overview if anyone just, this is the first video they watched of this build. Uh, we've gone ahead and used the Matek PDB slash VTX um, and we are going to be using the FR Sky F4 uh, XSR F40. Uh, this is just has a this is a F4 flight controller, beta flight OSD, and it does have an XSR radio built in, and the PDB has the VTX built in. So overall, this is going to be an absolute clean setup. All we need to do is just solder the wires to the camera and the power to this guy, as well as the video. Um, out down to the PDB so this should be pretty cool pretty sweet and pretty simple and um, yeah well let's get started all right so what I'm going to do first is we're gonna go ahead and prepare the XT60 connector because this one has a pretty sweet setup of how it goes about doing it so let's just go ahead and do this together and um, I am absolutely loving this helping hands usually you guys give me a lot of crap for not using one and there you go i'm using one now so let's go ahead and prepare this guy hopefully the camera stays in focus okay should be pretty good later on we'll come back and hit this once we set up the wires here okay beautiful this one we might have to trim a little bit We'll see how he goes right now. Okay, nice. And we're just gonna slide him right in. Gonna hit up the pad here. Get it nice and good. That's perfect. All right, sorry about the focus. It's a bit difficult to focus and at the same time do this here, so a trillion or a shitload okay there we go it's seeping through now perfect all right and then we're just gonna come back later on and hit this with some heat shrink so we don't risk anything getting short-circuited because that's the last thing we want in these things so now let's just get an idea of the amount of wire we need because I think we are going to use the pre-built kind of thing going on here. So in theory, as you can see here, um, this would go in like so. And that's pretty good. However, the actually this one, the one that it came with, fits in a lot more snug. But, oh well, too bad. It's going to be good anyways. Uh, we could just push it in and it'll just be dangling inside once we have this set up. So it's not bad at all. Alright, so um, thinking about here is going to be good. It gives us a little extra clearance to set this guy up. So let's go ahead and strip this guy. Alright guys, so the next step now what we're going to do actually before continuing on with the power there is um, as you can see here I've gotten myself some silicone wires from an ESC. Oh, that's I've cut and I usually keep these wires because they do come in handy in situations like this. And I'm going to route power, the 5 volt power with these guys to the flight controller. So let's just go ahead and prepare these wires and where am I going to route it from? We're just going to take it from here. I think it would be very good. Yeah, and we're going to have the wires to be going inwards like this, or we can have it here, but I don't want it too close. I mean, it's too close everywhere anyways. So let's just do it like this now. So let's just go ahead and just tin up the wire here. Make sure it's twisted. Tin it up a bit. Perfect. And this is orange. So I'm going to make this 5 volt here. It should be very simple and straightforward. the tip is clean it's fine all right so now we got five volts for our flight controller and we're also going to take ground here all right so a little bit of solder to this guy 
There we go. Perfect. A little bit more. Just make sure the tip is clean constantly. Alright. Now let's go ahead and hit the ground pad here. So this will be the 5 volt coming to our flight controller and this is basically the flight controller will give power to the built-in receiver on it so we only in theory have to run three wires which is the power and the video out that's going to be coming out of uh, the flight controller so and I've got myself here some more silicone wires as you can see here alright so I'm going to go ahead and cut this guy I don't want him alright so what do we have here I'm gonna have the video out be white here very nice little thin beautiful silicone wire uh, they bend but they don't break so this was super awesome however they 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 tend to what's the word puncture or rip very easily because you can see I'm stripping them just with my just with my nails here and um, that kind of that can be problematic at times So currently the camera's in the way and I can't lift the back of the soldering iron. Alright, there we go. Move this guy. So we're gonna take it to the video. So this is the video out from our flight controller because it has OSD. And there we go. So that's complete. So in theory, I think here we're basically done except the power we're gonna need. So we just got three wires now here from this guy. We just got power, so we can power a flight controller, and video out, so we can pass it from the OSD. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our flight controller. Let's take a look at it now. So let's see what we need from here. All right, so the flight controller is gonna be a little bit different because I forgot we also still need to route the um, signals to it. So we're gonna go ahead and prepare those pads. So let me get my silicone pad here so I don't ruin this one. All right, so the flight controller is going to go in like so here. And um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to prepare the signal and ground pads of each ESC. And then we're going to see what we're going to need for video out and power in. And basically, we should be done. I mean, it's that simple. So as you can see, here is ground and video one. So let's go ahead and prepare those pads. OK. Here is signal one, two, three. This should be three. Okay, that's ground for three. This should be four. This should be ground for four. Sorry, this is ground for four. And this is two. But this is ground for two. And this is two right there. Perfect. So we got that ready. All right, so we got those ready. And I think here it is, the 5 volt in is going to be here. I believe this is ground and this is 5 volt in. So let's go ahead and prepare that now. So, okay. And all we're going to need is to prepare the video in and the power to the camera that I forgot actually. So that's what we're also going to need to prepare here. Okay, perfect. All right, so now where it is video out, we're gonna need video out because that's gonna go to the um, Maytag PDB here. So here's video, we gotta clean that guy. All right, so there's V out, so that's video out. So let's prepare this guy, okay? What is that? That's V, I think that's V back, but we don't need that. So video in, five volt and ground, this is gonna be for the camera and we need these three. These are the only paths we're going to be using, really. I think, yeah, that's it. So just the signals, and we will be grounding them, I believe. So the signals, the ESC signal and ground, and the um, the video out right there, and the out the video in and the cap the power for the camera, and the input voltage to power up this guy. Sorry. So let's go ahead and grab our. 
I think what we should do first here is actually let's grab our camera wires and let's get those done with. Or let's leave that for last. Hmm. Let's go ahead and mount this guy on here and then uh, we'll give him power and solder the video out and then do everything after that. So let's go ahead and prepare that. All right, so what I've done is I've set up some spacers, some nylon spacers, and now as you can see here, you know, there's something a little bit retarded, uh, which is, you know, usually you'd expect the camera to be in front, but it's, that's not the case this time, it's all the way here. The five volt is here, but everything else is pretty much correct. So we're gonna go ahead and just power these guys. So the darker one is ground here. So this one's ground. I'm debating on to keep it this long or not, but I think actually I will, but I will twist the wire this way to make it um, basically collapse on itself. As you can see here, it just dropped down very nicely. And uh, this will give us some room for error. So if there was any issue later on, we can easily pop the flight controller off and take a look at the uh, VTX. For example, see what channel we're on because we're not receiving anything. Maybe it could be the goggles. You know, anything, anything could really happen. I still have to check one of the quads I've built, which was the Jadina. I went to take it out for a flight and the VTX wasn't powering on, but I really couldn't do anything in the field, so I just left it. So I really, ha I hate when I have to do that, I have to retire a quad um, and uh, just not be able to work on it. But now I got that portable soldering iron, which I should be able to work on these things with. All right, so let's do ground. Ground was a dark one for me, so it's gonna be this one right there. So let's go ahead and set this guy in place. There we go, and there's power. Perfect. And now what we need to do, we need to get video out because it's going to give to the VTX because the VTX is built into the PDB. All right, and video out is right there. So this one maybe we can make a little bit shorter. It's too long, I think. Let's just go ahead and do that, actually. And a little bit tinier. And I love silicone wires because they're just so easy to work with and just super nice. I keep forgetting to purchase like, these smaller ones like this size. I only have large gauges. So I should uh, go ahead and get me some. They take forever to come. What's the issue with them? All right, so we said video out and video out is right there. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna solder this inwards like so, because we don't want it sticking out the side here. Make sure the tip is clean. Okay, there we go. So we're basically almost done. All we need is the camera and the signals for the ESCs. We'll do one together and then I'll skip the rest and basically we should be done. So well, let's go ahead and prepare the wires for the signals of the ESCs. And uh, you know what, here's, here's a couple right here. All right, so I've gone ahead and found a couple more silicone ones and I really do like these and I'm gonna be using these guys. So let's go ahead and start with motor one here. So let's just strip this guy. And we're just gonna do one, one ESC together and I'm just gonna skip the rest just to save time. And um, it's just gonna be the same thing really all around. So we'll start with motor one here. Motor one, let's just retin the pads here a bit. So here's the signal. Okay, here is the ground. That's awesome. I just bridged two caps together. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and do one signal together, and um, let me prepare the wire. And we got a little wire here. So let's go ahead and do this. So obviously S is signal. There we go. And signal for motor one is going to be right there. So let's just leave a little bit extra slack, but there's gonna be good. 
go ahead and cut this guy off. <clears throat> here. He's a bit too long so we're gonna have to shorten him out a bit. Perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and solder him in words like so. <clears throat> because we have the 3D printed part side skirts I don't want that to uh, get in the way. Hold on. The tip is dirty. Perfect, that's signal one. And let's just do ground together also. So we'll just grab this wire here. Alright. You don't have to ground your ESCs, but I guess it's good to ground them. Um, and that is why we're just going to ground them here. And I also want to cut these grounds in the field and see if it makes a difference. So that's going to be pretty interesting. <clears throat> so if we have no noise, or, you know, I'm just going to get enough footage to actually see if we could see a difference here. It's going to be pretty interesting. So. <clears throat> just adding a little bit of solder on the wire here. And there we go. And we have one ESC complete. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip over the rest and I'll be back once that's done. Alright guys, so now we have to do the camera. And the camera is pretty simple. It's right there. So let's just go ahead and see how we're going to do this. Um, so we have video in, 5 volt and ground, and I want the wires to be coming into that way. So let's go ahead and just twist these wires a bit just to keep it nice and clean. Alright, we've gone ahead and already prepared the wires just so we can save as much time as possible. So let's take a look here. Alright, so we're going to start from the bottom and move our way up. So we need ground. Alright, so here's the black wire. ground and I moved it okay perfect then the second one is what five volts so let's go ahead and do five volts okay all right there's five volts and video in which is the yellow wire And that's beautiful. So we're basically done. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and start assembling this guy together because I don't think I've missed anything here. All right. So yeah. All right. So I've gone ahead and set up the grounds and the signals for the ESCs. We have power to there going. Uh, don't forget the GTX right there because that'll be a very bad day. And here it is. So I'm going to use a dipolar antenna here. There we go. And that's just perfect clearance. You'll see that in a moment. Alright, so there we go. We have our XT60 right there. Camera's going to be going up here. Everything is working out pretty well, actually. So this is not a super sensitive gyro. So we can get away, we, we, we can get away with not soft mounting it, but I will soft mount it. But right now I just want to kind of see if everything's working. But before checking if everything's working, I have to set up, um, what the hell is that? I have to set up the, under the ESCs or they'll just catch fire right here on the desk and that's not a good thing. 
you never want that and then just never arm i mean with pro at least with propellers in your house or if it's the first time arming and you're the first time building it don't even arm in your house you can catch you can all catch fire it's not even a joke all right guys so it is complete and you know this is not going to be the easiest quad to take apart and fix in the field i can tell you that right now it took me like seven minutes to put it together um it's very annoying to get this part into the holes and um yeah it was, it was ridiculous so i did put some double-sided tape this is like silicone so it's not conductive and uh right below it and it sticks just fine later on i'm gonna hit it with some tape on top just to roll it around but right now what we're gonna do is we are going to plug in the battery and see how it works so hopefully everything works good and then we'll be taking this guy out on the weekend hopefully so here I got myself a battery and let's see what happens together. Alright, so everything works, that's awesome. But you know, the stand thingy here needs some work. That's fine though, we can figure something out for this. So overall I'm very pleased with it. Very, very pleased with it. Let's just see something here. I'm trying to figure out how it's going to be in the field. All right. And this one. Let me try the other side. It could be something of this nature right here. I'll stick this guy through. I mean, that keeps it way out of the propeller's way. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. Actually, it looks pretty sick. It looks pretty damn sexy, to be honest. Let's see, let's check this guy out. Yeah. Yep. So that's how he's gonna look in the field, and um, it just looks insane. It looks massive, like super massive. I really love the looks of it, but looks aren't everything. So this will have to be taken out and tested on the field but we can get its current weight now and then take one last look at it and we call it a day all right so we got this scale here let's zero this guy out this is basically everything it's just missing propellers and a battery oh, ho, ho, 363 grams I told you it wasn't going to be on the light side that's for sure it's going to be a bit heavy this is a 1300 milliamp battery so this we just hit half a kilo right there Put some props. I'm props isn't gonna weigh that much extra, but yeah, you're, you're talking about 550 right here. Like I said when I first built it, this is gonna be on the heavy side. It just feels massive. Um, can it take a hit? Don't know. Time will tell. But I don't see why it wouldn't. It actually seems like the structural integrity would be pretty good. Maybe an arm might break, but even the arms are pretty damn thick. So, what do you guys think? I think it's going to be a pretty good one. Um, however, I would really like it if I fly went back to the drawing boards and fixed the way the top gets put on because this is the kind of quads that would piss me off and I would just, you know, like a wire rips and it's just getting so annoying to get to that wire. I'll just rip it all apart and I don't care about it anymore. And then I'll basically I just give out the internals. Um, this is what I mean by pissed off quads if you've been following my channel. So. This seems like a promising one. Uh, it didn't catch fire. Everything seems like it's working. And we'll be taking them out very soon. So stay tuned. And if anyone's used this frame, please let us know down in the comment section. And I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.